I can feel the white knuckles round the country as you grip your sofas with anticipation for the greatest event in the world. It's only paint, Jeff. And we are now going to reveal what we put on Jeff's face. It was this design from Shanice in Banbury. It was Dino Land face, Jeff. Look at that. That would be awesome. Jeff, are you ready to see how it came out on your face? I think I've got heart palpitations. I'm excited. The nation can barely contain themselves. Here he is. It's Dino Land face, Jeff. Look at that. That is awesome. Let's hold that next to it there. That is brilliant. Is it good? Is it good? Do you want to have a look? That's pretty much what's on your face there. Wow. Isn't that brilliant? Dinosaurs. You've got like a stegosaurus there and a do you think he saw us? Because he's got one eye. Do you know what his dog's called? Do you think he saw us, Rex? <laughs> Comedy I, I, can right do, I, I can do. I can do a dinosaur impression. Okay, show me a dinosaur right, impression. <laughs> Not so much dinosaur, more distressed <laughs> mongoose. Also there, makes me cough. Yeah, it does make you cough. <laughs> right. You carry on coughing, I'll carry on. Thanks, Jeff. OK, so if you want to get your designs on Jeff's face, it's so simple. Draw them on a piece of paper, put them in an envelope, and send them to us here at Paint Jeff. P.O. Box 9989, London W12 6PA. Or, if you're handy with a scanner or a computer arts programme, email your design to cbbc at bbc.co.uk. You like it, then? Yeah, yeah, can I keep it on during news? Right? All right, you can keep it on during news, right, as long as a big meteor doesn't hit you in the face and yes. wipe you off the face of the five, all right! I mean, I agree with him. I like last week, but you have a movie on your face right now. You're a movie star, mate. Yeah, I don't think Steven Spielberg's gonna be knocking on my door anytime soon. Who needs Spielberg, mate? You have Jurassic Park 4 wandering around your nasal cavities, Jeff. Hollywood schmollywood, you could make a movie if you wanted. Well, you've got to go to Hollywood to make a film. Not anymore, mate. There are so many great ways, like the Me and My Movie competition. What, where you upload a film and uh, you can win a great prize? That's the one. And there are workshops up and down the country now, so you can actually learn how to make your own movie. Well, what do you do there? Oh, what don't you do, mate? You get your hands on the camera, and at the end, you have your very own two-minute movie, Jeff. Well, tell me where, Dan, where? I will tell you where. You can go to Birmingham, London, Norwich, Belfast, Glasgow, and the centre of the known universe, Salford. Oh, I know where at least some of those are. Yeah. Well, how do I find out, Dan? How? How? Easy, matey. All you do is go to the CBBC website and follow this link that's on the screen now. That's there so easy. I, I could be a movie star. I could be in movies. I could star alongside movie stars. I could marry Jennifer Aniston. I, I could marry Uma Thurman. I could marry J-Lo. I could... What? What? What'd you do that for? You're getting carried away. You ain't going to Hollywood. You're staying here with Dan. It's going to be Dan and Jeff forever in the CBBC. That's what's going to be. No Hollywood, boy. Oh, I was on device. Because I'm Big Daddy Sparkles. That's my name. Now watch that muck off your face. Go, 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 go. Big Daddy Sparkles. Sorry. I digress. Right, coming up now is Three Delivery. Now, I love the show, but here's my issue, right? The title. Three Delivery. Now, I get there's three of them, right? I get they deliver things, yeah? But the title makes no sense. It's a bad pun, Three Delivery. Change the name, please. Well, we've run out of time in the office today, and instead of getting ready for the big, scary office test, we've got distracted with not painting my face and things like that. Oh, well, Dan, I think the best thing we can do is go home, get a good night's rest, come back ready and willing tomorrow. Whoa, whoa there, cowboy. Hold your tiny ponies. Look at this. Rule 3071. Before we can leave the office, we have to clip Shirley's toenails. Should have been doing it for ages. Oh, no. Yeah, I think we should probably stay and do that, then. Yeah. It's only going to take one of us, though, isn't it? Right. Well, there's only one way to decide who it should be. You're right, you get the marmalade, I'll phone Keith Chegwin. No, 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 we've still got the chocolate spread left from yesterday, and anyway, I was thinking more of a word battle. All right, stand down, Keith, soon, I promise, soon. I'll start. <coughs> Badger. Drainage. Uh, Cross-channel ferry. Uh, Heimlich maneuver. Uh, 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 mumble. Uh, piccolo. Um, pine cone. Uh, rubbery. Oh, yes! Come on! Two in a row! To victory. Right, I suppose I'll do it. All right, matey. Well, I will see you tomorrow. High five! Oh, yeah. And here's some nice toenail clipping music for you. I'm out of here. Right, well, I guess I better get this over and done with. I don't suppose you enjoy having your toenails clipped, do you, Shirley? <laughs> no. Right, well, I better have a run up. I'll, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.